how's everybody doing? I Today we had Good Friday service at my church and I was one of the readers and I read from my kitchen like this. I had the computer in front of me and everybody who joined joined by Zoom. It was a virtual Good Friday and it feels like something is missing. So I'm really glad for the human connection, but it is different. And you know, the pastor, she would light the candles and all the readers joined. Usually if people were joining from their living room or from the kitchen. The person who played the flute was actually in church, like the physical building, but everybody was joining from somewhere. And I noticed that the attendance was really low. 19 people came and if I'm going to guess if my church is majority elderly people and if they're like the elderly people in my family it was probably hard to figure out how zoom works last week I attended my first ever virtual wake and it was for a family friend who passed away before the pandemic began so it wasn't Thank God it wasn't due to coronavirus, but due to the events happening around the world, we weren't able to mark his passing. And it was unusual, my first, my first time doing anything like that. The priest would say, peace be with you. And it was through Facebook Live and people would type peace be with you in the comments. And you know, I've thrown virtual parties before, and when I'm in a better mood, you know, I'm, I'll do something like that again. So I throw this virtual New Year's Eve party every year since 2013, and sometimes hundreds of people have come. And it feels like celebrating online, it feels like there's less of something missing than when you're doing something more serious. You know, I thought about having a boxing party online, watching some of my favorite fights in boxing history with other fans live through Facebook, the way I do my Twilight Zone parties. My grandmother passed away this week, so I'm not really in a partying mood, but it's hard to do virtual Good Fridays. It's, it's, it's hard to do a virtual wake, although it's better than nothing. Yeah, and during the virtual wake, the priest did a communion and someone said, well, how did you do communion? I said, I didn't know he was gonna do a communion. So like, oh, you can get juice and bread. I didn't know he was gonna do it. So I just watched him doing it. So in some ways it's passive, in other ways it's active, but you know, somebody said something, Jimmy Kimmel about his friends of his doing a Seder supper through Zoom. So we're doing Good Fridays through Zoom, I think, there's other uh, you know religious places doing their services through facebook and it's hard like it's it's um you know i'm used to the conference calls that uh, people do so for certain volunteer work or certain jobs i had a virtual conference call yesterday that went really well people were talking about uh, addressing different issues related to covid in illinois and I was talking about serological testing and I feel pretty good about that, but it's less, it's, I don't know, maybe it's a thing that it's like an accepted part of our lives, the virtual conference call, whereas, you know, virtual religious services were like, you know, somebody's lighting candles, somebody else is reading and it's all seen, it's like faces on a screen, like the Brady Bunch were like different squares or you know grieving i don't know have you ever had to during this difficult time do something virtually that you would normally do in person i have you know i got dressed up for today like i said i try to do one day a week where i'm not in yoga pants and or pajamas even if he, not because other people were going to see me on screen, but to get in the mood of things, like I'm actually in church, just psychologically, it helped me. That's a coping mechanism is to have one day a week where I look for myself, psychologically, I look nice, not for the sake of other people. 
but have you ever had to adjust something in your weekly routine that you would normally do in person? And um, how did it go? Let me know how it went. Thank you so much for listening. This is Jessica. Goodbye.